everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Angels Unnamed Podcast, VLS TV's new special segment. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't come up with anything better, but I guess that works, right? This is going to be a podcast where there will be an advice corner, personal stories, interviews, and honestly just a place where I will talk for a very long time, so I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Angelina Tran, I'm a senior here at BLS, and I'm really, really excited to get this started. I want this podcast to be a safe space for everyone, including myself, and for people to be able to relate to the things I talk about, or even if you're bored and you just want something to listen to. I know we all go to a very, very stressful school, but we all do deserve a break. So this also means please feel free to reach out if there's anything I could do better on, if there are certain topics you would like me to talk about, or even special guests you would like me to bring on. For our very first episode, I have a really good friend here with me. Alex, you can introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Alex, and I've known Angelina since fourth grade. Yeah. And you're a senior, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Class of 24. Yep. So that's kind of crazy, the fact that we're seniors now. True. I've been here for like six years. I know. I'm ready to leave. Are you? <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's like settling in. That is my last year. And I'm like really grateful for the fact that it is my last year, but also like thinking about the fact that these 60s have six years left is kind of crazy. I know. I kind of feel bad for them. How do you feel about senior year? I know you kind of already talked about it. Excited? Nervous? I'm really excited. I feel like I'm a bit blissfully like naive though my friends are like kind of stressing about about college and it's like very understandable but i've kind of just been cruising in my own like little lane honestly me too yeah that's like college like yes i have we all have to focus on that but like i want to have fun too yeah right it's our senior year right yeah like as long as we don't procrastinate on our college apps Mm -hmm. we'll be fine we can still have fun because if you're going to procrastinate then like enjoy the time you're spending procrastinating but if you're not procrastinating, then get it done now and then enjoy the rest of your senior year. Uh, I'm not going to get into school. How do you feel now? I'm, I feel a bit better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I actually got things started. Right. No, yeah. When you just like sit down and just think about everything that could like overwhelm you, then it feels like so much. But if you just take it one step at a time, then it's really easy. A lot more easier than it seems. Yeah. Okay. So now that we're seniors, if you had to give some advice to sixies what would you like tell them i would say find a reason to enjoy school a reason for you to come to school every day because if you don't then it's just gonna become like a task oh every single day every week no that's and of course you're not gonna want to do that you don't want to treat school like a chore because Mm -hmm. you're gonna have to put up with this for like for at least the next 10 years of your life so make it something enjoyable like for me it could be like finding a hallway crush or like joining a sport or a club <laughs> yeah that's what i did mm-hmm. and i didn't do that until 10th grade but i really wish i did it earlier so if you're a 60 you should start now mm-hmm. i agree i didn't start until later and that might be like a regret i have mm-hmm. but once you like find your group at school just really like romanticize school yeah like, that's a good word yeah like, yeah it'll be like fine it'll be all right and honestly how vls is already don't make it worse for yourself. I agree. Yeah. I went on a, a BU tour today, right? Yeah. And the guy was talking about, the person, the speaker, was talking about how people always, like, owe it to the school. Like, say, Boston University, for example. They're mm-hmm. like, BU made my experience so enjoyable. But he was like, in reality, it's you guys that are the ones making your experience enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Like, you're the ones going out there, finding things to do, finding people. It's not, a BU is helping you, but ultimately is you to, to, to be the one to, to find what you want to do. No, that's, that's like, correct. Because, honestly, it's, BLS, like, the curriculum, like, I mean, it's, it is great, gives us great opportunities, but it, it is school at the end of the day. I think what makes it is, like, all the clubs. Yeah. You're the president of powerlifting. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. But ultimately, I would say, like, when you get to 10th grade, you enjoy school a lot more because you're choosing your classes. So, like, mm-hmm. I would say just appreciate learning as like lame as that sounds. Just like have a heart open for finding new things to explore and do. A piece of advice I would give to the sixties is use your lockers. Like the sixty bath I mean the sixty um backpacks are crazy. Not yet, true. Now I think about it though. Like, like, literally last week a 60 like swung his bag into no i would say learn like spatial awareness that's the big like oh, you can have true. a big bag if you want to but true. you have a big bag then at least know you have like that luggage you're carrying no, literally. you're turning around 
not looking where it's hurting. You're just hitting people with your bag. That's just mm-hmm. so like, I don't know. Like, what are you doing, right? No, within R1 and R2, like, it's fine. Like, maybe you're just rushing to go to class. And they did say sorry. But it's the embarrassing part is my teachers saw. And they're like, are you okay, Jelena? <laughs> and then I was like, I'm fine. Yeah. Use your lockers. And, like, don't be, don't be afraid of them. Like, you don't want to get, like, I don't know back strain that's true and shoulder pain yeah and also it just makes it more convenient for you to walk around it's, com- it's more comfortable yeah you don't want to carry that around yeah you're here for like seven hours might as well mm-hmm. be comfortable right exactly and also like at first i wouldn't use a lock but use a lock guys today my chromebook got stolen really yeah it got yeah you, oh yeah you weren't here i got my, my someone stole my chromebook why who's stealing chromebooks i don't know this quantum has like 50 million though like actually in this room down here down really? this hallway yeah if you need one, you just talk to her. Yeah, I'm going to definitely get my Chromebook back. And I told Miss Murray, I'm just really sad. I'm like, I need to print something out. And you can't print things out with like a personal oh, right. device. Is it, it, well, at least it's locked, right? It's not, it's not a personal device, I guess. I mean, it is your Chromebook, but you yeah. get another one, though. But this is a message to the audience. If you find a Chromebook with a, like some, some stickers mm-hmm. in like the middle then that's mine and make sure you get that back for me thank you very much okay sorry do you have any more advice to give to 60s i would say learn the layout of the school especially like Mm -hmm. i mean you'll get it throughout the year just knowing how to go from class to class and that includes i feel like it's really important to learn the layout of the bathrooms too why (laughs) because the way the bathrooms are formatted on each floor just there's good and bad bathrooms i'll start with that yeah from floor to floor, it's different. And so on the first floor, near the Alma Mater statue, there's two girls' bathrooms, mm-hmm. right? But I didn't know that. This is back in, like, before COVID, I think. It was either before COVID or when we came back. So it was 10th grade for us. So, like, 2022. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. I was going to the bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. I was, I was, I was passing Ms. Kwan's office. I turned left, walked down the hallway. I was like, oh, okay. This is a woman's bathroom. So the next one should be a men's bathroom, right? <laughs> So I walked further down. I didn't see a sign. Because usually there's a sign on the wall that says woman's bathroom. Printed like the BLS logo. It's like purple. Right? Yeah. I didn't yeah. see that. I just, so I just assumed. I mean, why would there be two women's bathrooms on the same like side of the hall, right? Uh-huh. So I just walked in. And I was like, the first thing I noticed is that there's no urinals. And I was like, it's kind of a weird bathroom. But I didn't like make much no- no- notice of it. Yeah. So I walked to the stall. I did my oh, business. No. And I washed my hands. And then like all of a sudden a girl walked in. I was, I was like, like, oh, what the flip are you doing? And then I was like, oh, wait. So I went to the front door and got out of there. And I was like, oh, oh that was God. a woman's bathroom. I was just like, why though? It's just so confusing. Yeah, honestly, I really like that there's two girls' bathroom there. Why? You use them a lot? <laughs> why are you asking me if I use the bathroom? No, but like, how come you like the, the fact that there's two there? Because like some like the girls' bathroom, in, cer- like, on, in certain times, like once it hits 2.15 oh, okay. or once second lunch comes back from lunch, the bathroom is always packed and mm-hmm. I do not like waiting in line. So like if there's no one in there, I don't have to walk like across the floor to go to the bathroom. I just go right. to the next um the next one. That's fair. So, yeah. yeah. I, like I, hate, I, hate, I hate lines. The like the idea of lines. They're inevitable, but like I was sitting at yeah. a red light today, bro. Mm-hmm. And on the bus. I wasn't driving, but like Yeah. I don't know. It's just like society. No, like I don't like <laughs> I hate lines, especially the dining hall. I have, oh, we have lunch together, right? Yeah, we have lunch together. Bro, Alex doesn't get his lunch until, like, lunch is, like, over. And it's I, yeah. unbelievable. I get it either, like, five minutes before the bell rings. Or I get into line five minutes before the bell rings. The bell might ring when I, like, just sit down or I just get my lunch from the lunch lady. It's crazy. Yeah, it's really not fair because people need to eat. Some people spend, like hours after school without any food that is a good point especially for sports yeah for sports they cut the lines like there's not many lines now yeah and it's because they close a salad bar too it's not open i don't know why oh right we're talking about um the bathroom guys please learn the layout of the bathroom because like even now i get distracted and i walk into the boys bathroom and i like i look up and i'm like why are there urinals in here (laughs) and then i rush out and it's like really embarrassing because i don't want to look like i'm going into the boys bathroom as a senior like i've been at the school for like six years so yeah it's good to know like 
Because, you know, the sinks are, like, at the door sometimes. You can look in and see people washing their hands. Mm -hmm. If you know it's a girl's bathroom, just don't look in that direction. I don't know. Like, yeah. Just don't look into the bathrooms, you know? It's kind of weird. I know. I feel like they should close the doors in the bathroom. Uh, I would disagree. I feel like they need ventilation, though. Oh, true. Ventilation. They do smell. But I yeah. feel awkward. Like, sometimes I'm just looking around in my surroundings, and I just stare at a guy washing their hands. Right, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not trying to, like... Mm -hmm. Look at you washing your hands. I feel awkward. We just have a PSA for people to also flush too. And especially mm -hmm. for boys. If you're using the toilet, put the seat up. If you're going to pee into like a, in a stall, yeah. put the seat up. And then put it back down after mm -hmm. you pee. Because it's just it's so disgusting. Basic hygiene. Like just do what you would do at your own house. Mm -hmm. Flush. Close the door behind you. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't do this at your own house, remember, this isn't your house. This is a public space shared by everyone. And don't just do this at school or at home. Do this everywhere. Just have, improve. Improve have, as a person. Yeah. yeah. Have basic hygiene. Yep. That's our advice to everyone, not just 60s. <laughs> yeah. Would you say anything to your 60s self? Yeah, like what I said earlier, I tell him to not go home all the time. I mean, all I did that was like, somewhat significant would be like spending time in the library mm -hmm. but then other than that i'd go home and play league but like <laughs> look at me now like i don't play league anymore and like good job alex those, yeah those years are like just so like pointless to me because i didn't like nothing i did in those years kind of affects well it, it does affect me now but like i haven't really carried anything from those years besides like me playing league for a long time and even still that doesn't really matter that much to me anymore yeah no me too i would like I would tell my 60 self, like, just do it. Just have fun. Make friends. Don't be so scared. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I wish I joined more clubs. I feel like I joined yeah. BSS, but I never did anything in it when I was a 60. I think, I think I, that's, that's me too. Yeah, because it feels mad intimidating, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the reason we don't do that is because we're scared to, like, open ourselves to a new, like, social environment and meet those yeah. people because i feel like I feel sometimes like, like yeah. they're already like in a already like a clique yeah exactly there's like a pre-established like yeah. kind of. but what they is? could say the same for like like i'm also like bls tv maybe they're already a click like we're already a click or like powerlifting Power, yeah, but yeah, yeah that's not true at all for the most part yeah for the most don't say that <laughs> okay, okay. okay. No, yeah yeah for Any, the most part yeah anyways um don't be afraid to join clubs even if it's intimidating like they aren't clicky they aren't mean yeah. and mm -hmm. um yeah just join clubs and have fun and even if you don't start until later on like how we did don't don't be scared at least you start right just at you least can learn you from everything you do yeah mm -hmm. even if you meet like bad people then you know who to avoid in the future yeah and it's even if the clubs aren't the best and you don't fit suit it like that's just a sign that you can do something else right it's always a learning process experience mm -hmm. Do you have an embarrassing moment in your high school years? I don't know what I'd say besides. Oh, I do actually. Wait, <laughs> it's not me, but it's someone else. But like, I I was the person that was like in the situation though. Okay. So, okay, I'm talking a lot about bathrooms. So, <laughs> okay, so I'll, so sometimes right, I use the music wing bathroom because like that's just like, <laughs> like it's not tradition, but it's like I don't know, like routines you pick up, like daily routines, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> And so one, so before, I usually when I went, I just opened the door. I just like I I, I never knocked because if I assumed that if someone was in there, it'd be locked, right? So yeah. I never knocked. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never knocked at home either because like either I knew or no one was in there. So I was going to the music wing bathroom, you know, walking up whatever music wing fourth floor, fourth floor. That's technically the fourth floor. The music wing. Yeah, right. Because art art is fifth floor, but music wing is like the rooms are like the four hundreds, right? I'm pretty sure. Wait. Oh. That makes the most sense to me. It's um it's the music wing, second floor, like the Yeah, the yeah, right, floor, right, right. And then it's the art wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But they just call it like the four hundred rooms or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That doesn't even matter. But I was going to the <laughs> yeah, bathroom and I opened the door. So I was like, wait, 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 wait. And I was like and I was like, Oh crap. <laughs> uh, it was already too late though, because I was like I opened the door like what like a foot wide and the, this guy was like half naked on the toilet and i was like oh i'm so sorry bro i just closed the door oh, no. i walked off giggling, giggling to myself i like heard him in the background he's like oh my freaking god i felt really bad oh no i mean he should have locked the door i know actually they have a sign in the bathroom because there's like multiple locks but one of them doesn't work so they're like oh they like wrote on the door use this one instead in like 10 
I don't think people can see that. Oh no. Okay. Guys, you read have... instructions mm. and and lock the lock the doors to your bathroom. I've never I I never actually go into the music wings. I don't I don't I've never seen that. Really? Yeah. Wow, I'm kinda surprised. I don't go in the music wing because I'm not like in band or anything. And also it gives me well, um me it gives me trauma from was it like music fundamentals of music or something oh, in 60 years? Do you remember I forgot that? about that class? Yeah. Well, actually, was oh my god, this was so long ago. I know. Do you have any embarrassing moments? Embarrassing moments? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I can't remember it. The only thing that's in my mind is like when we were at lunch and you stole my nose. Okay, that's so. It's not even embarrassing. Oh, you know what was embarrassing though? <laughs> you like you're like. I don't know what you did, but you like, I don't know. almost spit your food yeah, out. Yeah, you like I spit my food out because I was shocked. I was just like I was tired. Guys, I was tired. I was just eating my chips. Like, you know, and then Alex suddenly goes, Oh, Angelina, you have something in your um your shirt. And I was like, Oh, thanks. And then he he's like, I got your nose. <laughs> and then I was so it was shocking. I like I didn't know what to do. Yeah. It was your Okay. What is your favorite class? Favorite class. Yeah. This is completely different but what is your favorite class i'm just gonna keep it strictly a senior year because I'm, I'm actually really happy in my senior year classes but yeah if i had to pick one i don't know it's actually, i like all of them i'm not gonna lie I'm, i was really blessed with my schedule this year but i would say probably art class because mr harris is a goat and i just i mean you just like after you get assigned your project it's literally just you your your time to like work on it you go to class Put in music and just focus on like one thing. It's such a great time to like. Oh, and you have an R five to exactly. You have an R five, R two. Was it um lunch two? Yep. And art with um Mr. Harris. That's amazing. And Mari too. Yeah, and you sit with your friends too. And um, it's just a great time to just like disassociate for a while. Yeah. And like not worry about school, even though you're still in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I I really do like art. We take visual arts, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have a favorite class? My fair class, honestly, I really like Asian studies. It's a new like mm, course. Yeah. Um, it's with Mr. Zhao, and he's amazing. He's always like, whatever you guys want, because I get to do whatever I want. Because he created like the whole curriculum, which mm. is like really awesome. Like that's, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. And that's a whole like major at colleges too, Asian studies. Yeah, it's only like this is the he said it was like the first Asian course offered for like public high schools. Mm. And like the fact that I get to participate it mm-hmm. in like something like that, like that's really cool. Like you are the pilot episode. That's cool. Yeah. So you mentioned your favorite class was art, right? Yeah. Suddenly. Miss Lewis DuPont says in the announcements, guys, there's a zombie apocalypse. Oh my god. And everyone's looking at look looking at each other. What are you doing? What's your first step? I would be very like I would make sure I like was not dreaming or something, because that sounds crazy. I don't know, I need more like context. Like <laughs> when it when it says zombie apocalypse, right? That probably means that, like it's probably gone past the first few stages of like the viral infection so does that mean there's like people like on the streets like roaming around as zombies or what yeah like okay you say okay you don't believe it but then it is real you look outside and then there's a bunch of zombies crawling that around, would be so scary. crawling around like si- like you can see them from simmons like c- like coming from everywhere and then, but, you don't then, know then there to has do. to be like zombies in the school too right like some students are probably like well you don't know yet what's your first oh step? my god with that <laughs> Wait, then I would probably not trust anyone around me then. But <laughs> yeah. I start looking weird, like that penny. I'd be like, "You a zombie?" Like, <laughs> you're gonna look at your like table. Are you a zombie? <laughs> and start accusing people. I don't know. I, I, feel, I hope that Miss Lewis the Pond would give us some advice because if she's just like, "All right, guys, do whatever you want," that just sounds unrealistic. I hope she'd be like, "No, I mean, she's she's amazing. She yeah, would she's... definitely like be like, guys, like this is what we're gonna do. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. our school would be so prepared for something like this. Really, but." Protocol like Z for zombie. Yeah, I feel like they would have something like that. That's but funny. say there isn't any protocol, and Miss Lewis upon it's like, guys, survive. That's I, a good thought experiment. Oh my yeah, God. I want to oh. see you. I want to see you back here Monday. <laughs> no, I'm not coming back to school <laughs> if there's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, definitely not. Um, I would. Okay, now I think I would probably just if I was at school right then and there, right? Yeah. I want to go. I probably stay in the school. I was thinking about like, yeah. cause okay, my mom's probably somewhere out there. I probably text her. Be mm-hmm. Like you know what's going on, blah blah. blah. But then 
I'm not gonna go home. If I, it takes me an hour to go home, and the zombies outside, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna stay in the school and hopefully, we can like formulate some plan and we like make a like barricade in Mister Harris's room. Mm-hmm. Be fine. His room is really nice. Have you been in there? No, I the haven't. I've, like, I've like I looked inside of it. It's really high. Yeah. I love the art wing. My first step mm-hmm. would I would be like I would be the same. I'd be like, this is unbelievable. I'll look outside. It is real. Then I'll text my family. I'll call them. I'll be like, I love you so much. You will survive. Like I would probably tear up a little bit, and then I'll be like, No, I will. I'm gonna survive. What and then, gonna do? and then I would make a group chat with the people I know that are like strong. <laughs> okay. And I'd be like, Guys, let's form an alliance. And then, like I don't know, like everyone has like some cash. Get to go to the vending machine, get some food, fill up water bottles, and then find a room, like a room in the third floor. Mm. that's nice and big lots of materials i like that I like the first thing that came to my mind you bring that up though obviously you're getting just like trapped there like especially on the third floor oh like, let's say like zombies are coming to the first floor you just can't get out of there you know my my, my dream plan for the zombie apocalypse i get on a boat if i, if I can somehow get a boat yeah. i get on a boat i get fishing <laughs> rods whatever friends i want to bring with me and gas, a bunch of gas. I don't know how I'll get gas, but I'll just live <laughs> ashore the whole time. Because, I mean, how, oh, that's, how's anyone going to reach you there, right? That's true. The only problem would be gas, not, like, dying to the sea. So, like, I guess having, like, being able to sail. So, I'll probably, like, bring, like, Tim with me or something. Tim's a good sailor. <laughs> Tim. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and that's, that's really it. And the food. But food. Oh, no. Yeah, gas for cooking the fish that I catch. <laughs> Can't eat it raw. Yeah. And probably, like, some, like, other nutrients, like, Oranges for like vitamin C. Oranges. Yeah. But what if like Boston weather is so unpredictable? Predictable. Like what if what if there's a flood? Like how are you gonna survive in the sea? That is a good point. Yeah, because oh, remember how foggy it was like two days ago? Yeah. Remember that? My dad was telling me. Was it? Oh my god, was it yesterday? I feel like it was. It was yesterday. Yeah. My dad was telling me how he was like. At Cape Cod once, mm-hmm. and he was just sailing. It was just, like so far he couldn't see like, that like is scary. more than ten feet. He was like yeah. going so slow, like a boat like sailed past him. I don't know. I can't even. I don't know. That's just a hypothetical. I don't know if I actually do that, but if I could, that'd be so ideal. Just go on a boat and run away. Are you scared of the water at all, like sharks? No, I, I am scared. But... <laughs> no, I like. I went. You know, whale watching. Yeah, I've done that. I'm thrown up, so I feel like I wouldn't like fare well on a boat. <laughs> But, Alex, so you're scared of the sea. You mm-hmm. get seasick. But and, then, but and we live in Boston, but you would like to live on shore. Look, you gotta <laughs> just toughen it up in a zombie apocalypse. It's not ideal, you know. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, true. Like you said that you'd men- you'd mention you would bring like your like certain. What friends. teachers would you want to be with you? I'd be surprised if they want to come with me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like, if you, if for some reason, okay, let's say I, like, stumble on, like, stumble into a teacher in, like, the wild, and I'm like, oh, my God, Mr. Rinaldi, like, yo, you're my favorite teacher. Let's live together. Okay, <laughs> not live, let's, like, let's, like, group up and team up and survive this apocalypse. Yeah. I'd probably bring him, because he seems like a good friend. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to say, like, not include other teachers. Like, I would totally bring Mr. Harris and Mr. Sullivan, but, like. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I'm not saying their name, doesn't mean I don't want to bring them because I would totally would like take them in if yeah, I could. Yeah, I feel like I feel like everyone's so smart here. You know, like, yeah. Sorry, I would bring Miss Kwan actually. Miss Kwan oh, knows what she's doing. Miss Kwan, yeah. She, I feel like she's always on her A game. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I, but I feel like um, if we were in a different high school, our chances of surviving would be much more slim. I feel like I'd be less like it's relatively safe. There's so many I, hostels yeah, around us. I do feel safe for the school though. Yeah, yeah. that's one thing. I don't feel safe when it's super hot, though. It's, like, all musty. Everyone smells. Oh, yeah. I agree. The first few days of school are so bad. Yeah. Well, um, I don't really know how to end this podcast, but thank you so much, Alex, for being here with um, me and being in the first episode. Guys, I'm so sorry. Please give me suggestions on how to end podcasts better. This is my first, like, time doing this. But thank you for listening. If you are here right now um and say something yeah you can say whatever you want it was my pleasure it was really fun and i'm looking forward to see the podcast grow and get better throughout the next few months yeah so stay tuned for our next episode um and yeah bye guys bye everyone